Welcome back to the Big O Theme Retrospective, and it's time we talk about one of the most important, if not the most important, theme of the show, and the one I've saved for last for this reason. It's time we talk about the meaning of truth, and making a truth. Now this is a big, if not a critical theme, uh, the critical theme of the Big O. That's why I saved it for last. However, it is, as one of the most important topics of the Big O, one so important that I've already had to elaborate upon it several times in multiple, if not most, of the videos I've already made. So, this will just be a short and sweet video, which simply serves to summarize the meaning of truth here, and why everyone should have one, and why everyone should seek to make their own. You see, in the Big O, and life in general, truth is not simply objective fact, but core values and context which people hold on to. These core values and goals, in turn, give context and guidance and a foundation to a person's views and how they live their life. These, of course, vary greatly from person to person, and how they form also varies from person to person, whether they're handed down, or created through personal experiences, or any other mixture of life experiences. The thing is, people each hold their own, and they hold it dear, and it helps shape them, and helps drive them along through any hard parts of life. A person's truth serves as a, as a sort of reason d'entrée. This term means reason for being, and the importance of a reason of being and how that connects to the truth is critical one, is a critical one in the Big O. As noted earlier, the truth in the Big O is not just something that is factually correct, i.e. Roger wears black, and it's not necessarily limited to something more esoteric, like the existence of God. It is rather a vast sea, encompassing views on both ends of the spectrum. You see, these are both examples of truth, and there is many examples in between. Truth can be solely objective, and it can be solely subjective, although people's truths tend to be a mixture of both. Truth can be made for one and by one, and it can be made for others and by others. People can pick and choose what parts of others' truths they incorporate into theirs, and in turn contribute parts of their truth to someone else's. It's up to the individual to see where they themselves lie, and chase the truth that they seek the most, to form their own truth, to help guide them on their quest of life. Doing so forms a reason for being, and the person's purpose to exist for, whether it's very literal or material. Literal ones could include Dan Dotson being a police officer. Not so literal and more metaphysical ones could be like Schwarzwald's quest to learn and enlighten the masses. Everyone needs to find some reason to be, some greater thing or goal or role to serve in, and doing so gives purpose to life and validates people. It doesn't have to be a great or noble thing. You don't have to be a great lord or king. Your truth could simply be something simple, like being a father, or, you know, getting around to finally reading that book. It isn't something that has to be grand in the eyes of everyone, so long as it's grand in your own eyes, and gives you purpose and satisfaction, so long as you grow as a person from it. It's one of the beauties of truths. Everyone's truth gives them purpose, and anyone can find truth in almost anything. It gives them a drive, and this drive pits them against reality, forcing them to adapt to the world and in turn grow as a person. Roger's reason for being was to serve the people as a negotiator, and this installs in him his own code, which ultimately sees him through to the conclusion of the series. Dan Dotson's reason was to be a cop, and this forces him to grow resilient so he can deal with all the scum of the city. Schwarzwald's reason is to enlighten the masses, and he embraces it so completely it completely changes who he is. The point here is that all the reasons for being noted caused all the characters noted to grow in their own ways, and spurning a serious reason for being is a critical weakness. And this is shown by Alan Gabriel. While Alan seems to be the happiest, he in the end is the only character which openly spurns a reason for being. As such, he serves no real purpose, and is a hollow shell of a man. There is no end to the means with him, only the means of chaos and destruction. And for this, Alan is but a shell of a man and punished. Every other character, you know, if not always likable, has human moments and establishes that they are either pursuing their own truth or living by their own truth. Even Alex Rosewater has his own twisted reasons for being, and Dorothy an android is very busy creating her own truth. Those who lack a reason, or choose not to assign one to themselves, on the other hand, lack focus. They're not able to necessarily tackle the rigors of life as best they can because they don't have a focal point to which to apply their own efforts. And in the end, those who openly choose to spurn creating a truth, who choose not to live a goal in life, who choose not to utilize their skills and talents at any time at all, like Alan does, end up being punished, like Alan is by Big Duo, an agent of God. Alan is not punished because he lacks the truth. He's punished because he disdains the idea of having one and seeks only to serve himself. He doesn't set any goal, whether small or big. He doesn't see any need for character growth. 
He doesn't see any need to look at himself in the mirror and say, eh, maybe I should do this differently. And that's one of the messages of the Big O. The Big O has shown that lacking a truth or reason for being is not necessarily a grievous character flaw. Instead, it is an opportunity to grow. The Dorothy, for example. She starts out with no reason. Well, she starts out with her reason for being ripped away from her. So you could say that she doesn't have a purpose for a little bit. However, she does make her own. And this is a great example of growing to pursue one's own truth. Ironically, while the Big O may give off an air of nihilism and doom and gloom, its message is inherently opposed to this, as it says that anyone can assign a point to anything and give their life meaning. Anyone can create and pursue their own truth. Anyone can make something of themselves. And that's why we need to make our own truths, so that we can make and live by our own ideals and grow into the people we truly were meant to be, to grow into the best examples of ourselves.